Hello everyone, this is 100DD33, and a game came out in 2014 called Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts. This is an excellent hunting game. I actually played this game before The Hunter, and I always wanted to do a video on it, but I was never able to at the time. But recently I upgraded my PC, and now my PC works, and the game is able to play. So I think we're going to try it out. This is a very realistic game. It has bullet drop, it has arrow drop, the wind. Um, feeding spots, fields, tree stands, ground blinds, all kinds of different animals, caribou, moose, elk, whitetail, bear, um, wild boar, it pretty much has every animal you can think of. And it also has trophy animals. So at the end of every section, you get a chance to hunt a legendary animal. And that's a pretty cool concept of the hunt. So let's go try it out. And the first thing that we have to do is the tutorial. So let's go do it. Why don't we first start by breaking in these new boots? Go ahead, have a look around. All right, so we have to go forward now Beautiful country, isn't it? and pick up these tracks. So it says the freshness. Like these can tell you a lot about the animal who made them, the species of game, the direction it's heading, and how long ago it's passed. It's all plain to see once you know how to look. So it says the freshness is, is uh, about 15 minutes old, and he was heading northeast. So it is nice because you can see tracks, and. It shows you pretty much the freshness of the tracks. Set some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. It should be just up ahead. So if you look on the top of the screen, it shows a little circle right on the compass, and it says northeast. Step softly now. The less noise, the better. Try so I gotta. What the animal is moving. So I gotta crouch down, and that's C on the controls. Um. But yeah, this little circle on my compass marks exactly where, I guess that's where the stand is, where we need to go. And you actually move pretty good, even while you're crouched. Alright, so we're going to get up here a little bit, and you can see him right there, actually. We'll get our binoculars out. So there he is right there. If you press F, you can mark the animal. Wait, that's a, that's a doe. There are a couple of those, it looks like. Huh. Well, I guess we gotta keep moving until we find the buck. Well, these deer are not too far away at all. And we're getting right to where we're supposed to be, right at this little circle. So I imagine there's gonna be a buck somewhere. Some new coordinates to your map. Head to that waypoint and see if you can't spot that buck. It should oh. be just up ahead. See, we gotta go around this rock. The buck actually wasn't here; it was just nearby, and now we're getting a uh, now we're getting an exact direction to where the buck is. Large solid obstacles such as rocks conceal your presence from the animals. When behind them, you can move faster and remain undetected. Well, that's kind of cool. Being silent is just as important as being unseen. So when you're behind a rock, you can stand up and they won't hear you. Oh, right there! Right there! <laughs> the buck is like right there. Jeez, I didn't know you were so close. Alright, well we can... Well, we can take a shot here now. So let's see what happens. That felt pretty good. But you never know what's going to happen. And we got a lung. Double lung. Perfect shot. And we can run. We don't really need to look too hard for the blood because... Well, you can see he's down right here. But that's interesting too. I didn't know about this. If you run, you can't see the blood very good. If you walk, it shows up a lot better. So that's really good to know too. Well, here's our buck. 
He's not a bad one, but he's not that big. He looks like about an eight pointer, something like that. Yeah, eight pointer. All right, let's pick him up. And we got 1,200 gear credits earned. We got 400 points for getting both lungs. And it was actually a seven point. It scored 165. That's a good start. Now let's talk about some more advanced hunting skills. Go ahead and open up your GPS map. The map will let you know what animals can be expected where. It shows all sorts of important stuff like terrain, wind direction, time of day, and general areas you might find animals. It'll also show the locations of hunting resources as you discover them. So I don't know how to zoom in and, and zoom out or move or anything here. But I do see this right here. Oh, okay, we had it. We have to enter. Activity zones are also marked on your map. So you can quickly see where animals are usually feeding, watering, or bedding. Animals will move between these zones as the day progresses and their needs change. So he's basically saying that an area like this is where a deer is going to be there. And there's a 100% chance that, oh, well, there's a 100% hunting pressure there. So most likely this is in the same area that we just were. So if you find a spot like that, um, but the presence would be more yellow versus all white. Like here, okay, here it's just barely a little bit yellow. So there's a somewhat a chance that it might be there. And then here, very, very little yellow because the, none of the deer are betting yet so as the time goes on I'm sure they're gonna start betting so right now it's 12 o'clock it's pretty much like right in the afternoon so basically everything's just feeding right now in addition it marks the location of advantageous hunting locations such as preset blinds and stands it also indicates the direction the wind is blowing as well as how the hunter's scent is carried by the wind. All right, so here you can see the wind was blowing just to the uh, left of the deer. So if we went right at the deer, it wouldn't be able to smell us because the wind would blow right past it. Stands provide a good field of vision over brush, knolls, hillocks, and dunes. It's generally easier to spot game from above. Oh, well, there we go. Legend provides additional information to help you use the GPS map. Let's find a spot to observe a feeding plot. Close so we have to, and head to the waypoint. We have to press X and Z. Z actually zooms in so you can see a little better. And X zooms out. So now we're supposed to go over to the stand. And Stands provide a good field of vision over brush, knolls, hillocks, and dunes. It's generally easier to spot game from above. And oh, we can close the map, and now we can head over. So basically, that's what we did. We we marked a spot by hitting the right click on the mouse button. That will mark this spot. Then when we close the map, it shows it up. It shows it up over here. Oh, I see a deer. Take out your binoculars and scan the area. There are usually some deer around this time of day. Well, I can see them right there. The nine point. So it's pretty cool. It actually shows you what the score estimate is on him. And it says he's going to score 207. I think that's pretty cool. And like I said, if you press F, it will tag the animal. So then... There's a blind just over there. But with the wind the way it is, there's no way to reach it without spooking the deer. Head along the tree line. Stay in cover until you're downwind of him. Yeah, see, he wants me to go to this blind right here, but it's not going to work because the wind is bad. If you look on the bottom right of the screen, you can see the arrow pointing that way. So then he changed his mind, and he wants me to go all the way to this tower stand. But the problem is we have to go all the way around this huge rock over here. So anyways, if you look at the compass, now it shows uh, a deer track. And that deer track is actually, it's like a GPS chip where we mark the deer. Um, it's a little bit not realistic, to be honest, but it's a pretty cool future. So we're behind a rock now and we can stand up. And when we get past it, we'll crouch back down. See that? You lost 
creature smell and calmed right down. If a deer sees movement, it will stare. Freeze if you don't want it to spook. Oh, there he is right there. See, he can't see us because we're behind some rocks. So you can see he's pretty curious right now. But we're behind a rock, so we can get a little bit closer. Oh! We made a little bit of noise, and that wasn't good. But I don't think he can... Oh, yeah. Move into the stand. Pay close attention to bushes, as moving fast through them can make a lot of noise and spook the animal. Yeah, that's cool, too. Make sure you keep out of the animal's sight. If you touch the bush or anything like that, it will make noise, and the deer will spook. So we're pretty much set to get all the way into the stand. And we hit F. And we're in. Ready to take the shot. There he is right there. We're going to hit space. We got a perfect broadside shot. Oh, that should have been pretty good. Might be a little bit too far forward, but it still should get one lung. Oh, yeah, exactly. So... That's the thing about <laughs> this gun. I mean, it should die. It should die, but... That's a little bit unrealistic. At 43 meters, you aren't going to have a bullet ricochet off of a... You know, a rib on a, on a deer with a 270. You're just, you're not gonna. But anyways, it looks like some pretty good blood. And so we're gonna go down and claim our trophy. So you don't actually need to hit anything. All you have to do is be on top of the blood and it tells you what direction it went. So here he is down right here. He didn't go too far at all. You found him. Now claim your trophy. We play by the rules out here. You need to claim every trophy you shoot. We don't like to see wounded animals, so don't take a shot unless you're totally sure you can hit the target. This one looks like a nine pointer. Yeah, he is a nine pointer. I remember when we uh, spotted him and said he's gonna score 200 and he's the nine pointer. So let's pick him up. Yep, he scores 207 and five points on the left, four points on the right. So we, because we missed all the vitals, we lost 75 points during this um, part of the hunt. But we completed that part. So now we can go back and start off our hunt. We're going to start hunting on the southeast region. Southeastern woods are a good spot to kick off our tour. The combination of gently rolling terrain and an abundance of water makes this ideal country for white-tailed deer and wild boar. The weather is mild and the ground cover is plentiful. You should have no trouble tracking game and avoiding detection. Alright, so now they're basically going to tell you about the gear and how it works and everything like that like I said I haven't played this in so long I totally do not remember very much about this I know you have to click on it to access it and as you hunt you unlock more cash or, or I guess it's called gear credits and you can use the gear credits to get new weapons scope ammunition binoculars once you get a call and X to get into your backpack. And ammunition. So here we need to buy some hollow point ammunition. But I do believe we get hollow points for free right now. So there's our gear credits. Hit escape. Alright, so here's the legendary trophy hunts I was talking about. The uh, They're called pro hunts. And here you have pin cushion. And then we have Hogzilla over here in the north but until you get to that point you have to basically free hunt and you can click I believe you can click um, oh we can't do anything right now we gotta hit enter here yeah so 
These are the pro hunts they were talking about. And these are all the regular hunts. All the other animals here, these are basically just normal hunts. But they still give you challenges. It will say like, harvest two white tail bucks scoring at least 200 with the 270 and then you have to go and do that. So then these hunts here actually don't have challenges at all. But you can just go around and hunt whatever you see and if you shoot something and make a good uh, shot you'll get points. So then these hunts here are... I don't know what these hunts are to tell you the truth. But anyways that was it. And so now we can go... Oh see we have species experience. So it's basically like your spotting level in each animal. And the more you hunt them, the higher your skill level will get. Alright, so this will be the first hunt I was talking about. We have to hunt three white-tailed deer with a rifle. But we have to have a 4x rifle scope with the 270 partition. And we only have a 2x rifle scope, so we can't hunt this yet. The only way that we can get any more credits is by hunting freestyle. So we're going to go hunt freestyle quick. And you can choose what time you want to start at. Seven hours. Yeah, I usually start at seven o'clock. It's a good time. And then you just hit enter. And you're good to go. So when we're doing freestyle, I kind of want to look around and find some decent bucks. I don't really just want to go blasting everything I see. Now let's take a look at our map. Oh, that's how you move. Okay, I figured it out. Alright, so you move your arrow, basically you move your mouse to all the way to the left, all the way to the right. You don't have to click anything, you just move it. And it moves the whole, it pans the whole map all the way over. So we're over here in a feeding section, and soon, all these deer that are sleeping are going to stop sleeping and they're going to start feeding. So basically, we need to try and cut them off. Now you don't really want to shoot a sleeping deer, because one, you shouldn't really do it, and two, the odds of getting a vital hit are not very good. Right, check this out. We got a whole bunch of deer over here. And there's actually a, a young buck there with one horn on him. <laughs> like one little horn. You can see right behind it there's a tree stand there too. Alright, so there's our buck. He's actually pretty broadside. And he's at 150 meters. Let's try and take that shot. Yeah, let's not. So the thing is, before you level up and you get a good power scope, it's very difficult to shoot past like 60 meters, even with a rifle. Oh, 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 look at this. We got a good buck over here. Just saw him. There he is right there. That's a good buck. We got a 14 point buck here. He scores a 282 score. And he's about 140 meters away. So we're actually in the feeding section. So shortly, he should move on this direction. And we also have a good wind too. The wind is right in our face. So, But we are going to mark him. So we just marked him there. So we're crouched right now. And he can't see us. I do believe he's still bedded. But the problem is all these other deer are around. And we don't want him to spook. So what we might try and do is get into this tree stand here. But we need to be really careful that we don't touch any of this brush. Oh, 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 oh. So this buck just busted us. But he didn't see us yet. But he knows we're here. You can see him looking at us right now. So that's pretty realistic too. You see how he's stomping his feet? Just like a big buck. Well, he is a big buck. But he's saying, I smell you, I see you, like, don't come any closer. Alright, so we made it to the stand. Just got in, and let's find our buck. Oh, he's right.
right there. Look at that. There he is right there. There's our big buck. So he's actually feeding now. And he's 40 meters away. All we have to do is wait for a broadside shot. And we're going to take it. Or he's going to go back to sleep. We have a 14 point monster right here. And we have a little tiny 5 point. And we have about 5 or 6 does all around this monster buck. Oh, he's getting up, he's getting up. Alright guys, we're going to take the shot. He's kind of walking though, I don't like that. So that should have been back of the, or maybe the front of that lung. He was walking. Oh, he hit a little bit too high. That was close, but still off the oh. You need to practice your marksmanship. Well, we got to try and take another shot on him. Can't even see him. Wow, look at all the animals. Alright, so our deer just died. As you can see on the top screen. Now we're going to get down and go track him. Oh, there's a doe like right there. There's that other buck. Let's take out this doe and see if we can get some points. That's definitely going to hurt. But look at the lack of penetration. Uh, that was close, but still off. I mean, 24 meters with a 270, and you can't even penetrate into the vitals. Yeah, you really need to make a good shot until you upgrade weapons in this game. So let's get back to finding our buck. Oh, he's down right here. All right. So here we have our 14 point buck. Dead. Doesn't really count for a mission, but we still got him. So let's pick him up. See, we actually lost 75 points for it. But we did get some experience out of it. And he scores 282. Oh, looks like we got a bunch of deer over here. Oh, we got a good buck. Got a good buck up here. A couple of good bucks. Look at this. Got a 14 pointer here again. So, as soon as you get some higher. Oh my god, is there deer everywhere? So let's go prone here. And see if we can make a better shot this time. So, as soon as you actually unlock the deer call, you can actually make some better shots. So that should have been a perfect, at least one lung shot. Or intestine. So you actually lose points from intestine too. That sloppy shooting friend. We always aim for a quick, clean kill. Next time, put your sights just behind the Well, he's definitely going to die. So he won't go too far. But we're not getting very good points for it. Alert for oh, he's down right here. Keep down I didn't even see him. Alright, so we got another buck down. Another 14 pointer. We lost 100 points here too. Alright, so we're back to try and find some more kills this time, except for this time we want to try and get some more points out of it. We definitely got some big bucks, but we didn't get very many points. We actually lost some points. So anyways, we're back here on the map, and if you look here, there's a little X, and this X shows where the buck was that I shot. So you see where it says 7x7 seven, uh, seven seven hit scoring info? So that's kind of neat too. And eventually the more animals you, sh you shoot on this map, this whole map will be full of X's. And when that happens it becomes a little bit confusing, but basically you just want to stay away from that area. So maybe we're going to head over here and try and cut off the deer, these deer here that are bedded that are probably headed over here to drink. So if we can get into this stand, we should be in a pretty good situation. Alright guys, so we were just getting ready to head over that to that direction. and with our binoculars we spotted a 7x7 white tail 
Oh, that rabbit just scared the crap out of me. So we haven't actually seen him, but he came up with my spotting info. And he's just over here, right on top of this hill. So I think we're going to try and get into this tripod and see if we can't locate him. Alright, we're in. And he just laid back down. So there's a 7x7 seven seven there, 14 pointer, and a 7x7 seven seven here, 14 pointer. This one scores 276, and this one here scores 279. This one here is broadside, but this one here is a little bit closer. So the question is, which one do you take the shot at? And can I even get vitals at that range? Because we really need to get some points here. This one's 68 meters, pretty broadside. And I know we could definitely kill it, but do we wait or do we take the shot? Let's check. Who's oh, standing up? Come on, that should have been perfect. He was walking, should have sunk right into the lung. Don't hit the rib. Got him. We actually get, yeah, we got one lung. Finally. So we just shot a monster, and we got lungs. <sighs> Seeing if we couldn't get the other one on the run. But I don't think it's worth it to kill our points. So we're not even going to take a shot. So here he is down here. And that is a good buck. Let's pick him up. So we got 200 points for hitting uh, one lung. And we got a one shot bonus, plus one. And then we got a stationary target bonus, plus one. So basically if you wait until they stop, you actually get more points. And we got a total of 600 gear points. So that's what we need. Awesome. I'm pretty sure our big buck is up here a little ways. So we'll continue on get to this little opening there he is right there we found him big old 14 point suckers pretty big but he's a little ways out there we're gonna have to get down and try and get closer Keep an eye on the wind. You don't be caught up oh my god here he is here he is yeah but you need to stop or don't stop Oh my god, that was a horrible shot. What am I supposed to do? I don't have a call. Can't even slow him down. I actually missed him. Doe. Doe. Sure enough, there he is. Yep. Coming right back past us again. No way! <laughs> we just smoked him! <gasps> Double lung shot on the trot. Double lung shot. Excellent shot. Nice shot. Oh, he's down. Let's take out this fox. Got him. Um, uh, yeah, they just disappear. But apparently you don't need to hold the space button down when they're running past you. Just, just take a shot. That worked pretty good, actually. Yeah, I didn't even have time to hit the space bar. I just pulled the trigger. And we caught the back of the lung, and it went right up into the second lung, and we actually got both lungs on it. Pretty cool. So he scores 276, a 7x7, seven seven, and we got one shot bonus, stationary bonus, but he wasn't even stationary, he was walking. He was actually trotting. Um, all vitals points, we got 400, so we got a total of 800 gear credits. Now we're starting to get some points and some big bucks. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about this game, if you like it or not, if you like watching it, and... Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. 
Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.